Hey, a bunch of career criminals. I wanted to talk about this real quick because people were kind of upset when they found out that this Christian Cooper cat, the bird watcher who got into the incident with Amy Cooper, aka Central Park Karen, does not want to cooperate with the police. And I don't see why that surprises people. We have a prison industrial complex in this country. And you know what? It's not just about the prisons themselves. It's about parole. It's about the overuse of of different crimes, misdemeanors, felonies, things like that. You know, a lot of times you get, you do one thing, they charge you with 10 different fucking things. They just word it a couple different ways. Now, here's the thing. His argument is that this woman has been punished enough. And while in my opinion, she does deserve to be charged with this misdemeanor, which is the lowest misdemeanor you can be charged with. She has been hammered. She will go down in infamy. Now, here's the thing. I couldn't tell Central Park Karen from a freaking hole in the wall. I couldn't tell Central Park Karen from a can of paint. I couldn't tell Central Park Karen from a hole in the ground. I don't even really know what she looks like. I've seen her picture a bunch of times, still don't know what she looks like. All right, it doesn't bother me and I'm sure most people don't notice her. But she did get hammered. There is some infamy there. Amy Cooper, that name, oh my goodness. Not, not good. All right. Lost the dog, had to get it back, lost her job during a recession. Do we need any more people out of work during a freaking pandemic, during a recession while there's freaking race riots, as some folks are calling them, working class riots, if you ask me, going on around the country? We don't need that. All she's saying is, you know, if all cops are bastards, why do I want her to deal with them? If this entire system's corrupt, why do I want her to deal with them? Hasn't there been enough suffering? I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I think that's um I think that's a, a pretty decent position to take. You know, there's a stereotype in this country that black people are ultra forgiving. They're ultra forgiving. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. And um this may be just a little anecdotal example, but it but it's a example nonetheless. I, I think black people are incredibly forgiving for what we've done to them. If they treated us Half as bad as we have treated them, boy, would we be in one hell of a pickle. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.